and live from 650 Chapel Street, it's the Late Late Lunch Show with your host, James Rowlands. Hello, welcome to Late Late Lunch Show with James Rowland. Thank you for watching. I'm going to welcome my first guest, Harry Brownbill. Come on in, Harry. Yeah, don't all cover at once. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Late Late Lunch. How are you today, Harry? Very well, thanks. You know, yeah. it's Wednesday of a um, five-day week for last week. Yeah. Hopefully to get out on Friday. Can't wait. Yeah, you excited How's your to work going? Finish up? Yeah. I'm doing really well, thank you. Yeah, really well. Big year, James. Big, Big year. James. I've especially liked moving into the office. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. 650 chaps. Hey, you know it, you, you know, know it, you know it. All right, so you've got a game for us, is yes. that correct? So this is a great game. It was passed down to me from my other agency by a guy called uh, Timmy. Ah, Timmy. Um, it's called The Name Game. Basically, the rules are, you just have to guess the word that I'm saying. Now, it's not an easy, that sounds easy. It does it sound is. quite easy. The trick of it is, trick, I'm going to say it very fast. Ah. Hopefully, you can pick up what that word is. The other rule is the words have to be within the room that we are in. So, okay. okay. I'm going to say three. Three three words, yeah. and if I get I get them all, um, I win. You, you win, win a banana. Yeah. You win a prize. Yeah. Ah. All right. First word. Say it fast, The Name Game. No one. Nose blunt? No one. One more time? No one. Yes? No one. Nettle beer? Ooh, close. Very close. NB is right. No one. Harry, I can't get this. I think you stumped me on the first one. Stumped me on the first one. That's hard. I'll get easier. What was that? It was notice board. Notice board. Oh, that's, a, that's a tough word, that one. That's a good say of fast. It's one of the better. Try and get those. All right. Get into the word that you think I'm saying. Accentuate the first letter. Mm. Second word. Make it really easy. Burn. Burn? Burn is correct. Woo! Now, have you played this game many times before? Is this like you're a staple? To be honest, the first time I started playing it was about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. So It wasn't invented by Guy Timmy. I just invented it. So that was a completely fabricated story. Fabricated story, absolutely. Edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, ready for this? Ready for this one? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> out. Again, please. I'm out. <laughs> Air conditioner. Close. You know. Ed Duck? Oh! <laughs> That's it! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a fire. Yeah. You're pretty good at this game. Oh, uh, thanks for coming so in. We're Harry. starting a school down in um, Cheltenham. Cheltenham. Name, name game school. So, <laughs> lucky there is our star pupil. If you'd like to come down. Will I address the room or yeah. will I be like a student? No, I'll say this is my prize student from PhD. He's yeah. probably shown himself to be worthy. And what are the hours of this school? Yeah. Two, max. Three. Tuesdays. Tuesdays, yeah. alright. Right. Run that by um, you. Jordan, I guess. Yeah, Joe. Oh, sure. Alright, all right. thanks, Harry. Uh, that was the name game with Harry Brownbill. Uh, thanks for coming in, Harry. Now, let's throw to a segment uh, I did with our sports producer, Kale Volkenberg, A Day at the Polo with Kale. Enjoy. So, we're on the ground at the Polo today, and we're going to go around and find out what everyone thinks about the day. Let's have a good time. How about a high five? Hey! So we got Josh here at the polo, Josh Kale. Yep. Big polo fan. Oh mate, polo since this is Dale's ball. Have you got a favourite player out here today? Yep, it's um, Carlos Stefanovic. Yep. Good, yep. good yep. answer, good answer. Who's your favourite player in polo worldwide? Uh, it's a hard question because they change in you know, every player. <laughs> yeah, good player. Yeah. But, uh, do you know Jason? I know Jason quite well actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, definitely Marco. Definitely Marco. It's a fun game. Oh. Oh. What's your favourite polo? Marco polo or water polo? Marco, Marco polo. Good answer. Do you know that uh, quarters are called chuckers? A chucker is a quarter. Water polo or Marco polo? Uh, polio. The one where you like have to live in like a wheelchair. Die, yeah. That's my favorite. That's, that's my favorite. The one we can barely talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So we've really got 
done a polar plane. He works with that charge. How long have you been playing polar for? Polar a lot. Oh, oh, oh. How many kids have any goals today? Who's your favorite polar player? Oh, Sam Gardner. Sam Gardner? Yeah. Where's he from? Uh, Geelong. Oh, he's from Geelong. Well, he's actually British. You know what I like to say? Gee, a long way to go for a polo game. Mm -hmm. did, did you play well today or was it just a whole story? It started an okay game. I had an okay game. I, I was trying to get a little more inspiration out of my opponents, but uh, yeah. overall, we had. And would you say you prefer Marco Polo or Water Polo? I prefer Polo Polo. Polo Polo? Uh, Tommy Hilfiger Polo or Fred Perry Polo? <laughs> Ralph Lauren Polo or Tommy Hilfiger Polo? Fred Perry Polo or Lacoste Polo? Fred Perry. Good choice. What's your favourite type of polo to wear? I reckon, um, I like the Ralph Lauren, but I mean, I'm getting really into Fred Perry because I like chavs, like English chavs. Yeah. You look at what? Uh, Tommy Hilfiger Polo or Ralph Lauren Polo? Uh, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren Polo or Tommy Hilfiger Polo? Or Lacoste Polo? No, Lacoste Polo. Lacoste Polo. Tommy Hilfiger Polo or Ralph Lauren Polo? Sandy Spencer. <laughs> Ralph Lauren Polo or Tommy Hilfiger Polo? <laughs> Ralph Lauren Polo or Tommy Hilfiger Polo? No, they're both pushbacks. Alright. You what you want to do? You want you. Uh, Lacoste Polo or Fred Perry Polo? Fred Perry Polo. That's Polo, baby. That's Polo big time. That's Polo, bitch. Woo! <laughs> Is it filming? Oh, sorry, I'm listening. <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> Idiot! Thanks very much for Thank answering you. some questions. Keep up the good work. Back to you in the studio, Rolsey. Hello and welcome back to the studio. Wasn't that just good fun with Kale down at the polo? Oh, real food. Hey, <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my good friend Callum. And I've got a uh, package. A package from the Weekly Times. One of my favourite publishers, so... We love that. Let's open this up. And see what we've got. My box. It's a very nice box. Now, plastic was nicely tightly wrapped, which was good also. And detail on the bow. Very good. New Scott sales. Now, I might just go right for this. It's tightly bowed. You might be in a bit of trouble already. Mm. Thank you. There's some in my drawer. I got one. Uh, we're good. The producers gave them to me. Thank the you. Well, well, producer. <laughs> All right. I'm way too tired for this. I'm just gonna open this right. Ooh, wow. all right. Wow. First thing I've seen. Yeah, Chalk salted caramel little bickies. So that's that's good. What do you think of that? Yay. Out of ten. Uh, Not bad. We'll do that at the end. There's only six of them though. Dark chocolate um, <laughs> fruits, mango, pineapple, coconut, apricot. Dark chocolate mm. vegan. vegan. Alex. Alex. <laughs> so we go off in 2019. That's good. <clears throat> and some uh, zesty shortbread filled with a bit of. Passion fruit. No, I'm impartial to passion fruit, so I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, partial? Impar partial? Partial. Creme de la Crux. And yeah. the Creme de la Crux. <laughs> A nice champagne. <laughs> Mitchelton, Central Victoria. That's where I'm from. What year is it? As in for the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Alright, Kale, quick question, how many standard drinks do you think is in this bottle of wine? If you get it on the money, well that's, I'll give you everything in the box. 7.8. 7.2. Seven oh! It's 7.1. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Most wines are 7.2. Alright, well this is a nice box from the Weekly Times, and now I'm going to take you to a segment I filmed earlier in the day with my uh, lovely co-host Callum, Will It Float. Enjoy. It's a hoot. Will it, it floats! <laughs> Callum Henderson. Hello everyone. How are you going today, Callum? Yeah, you excited good. for another game oh. of Will It Float? This is a highlight of my week, mate. You know I can't can't get enough of Will It Float. Yeah, we'll that's see. That's the question. That's what we're here for. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Run me through them, James. Run me through them. I'll run you through them. We have a standard pink highlighter, standard issue. One can of Australia's finest lager. Can of lager, full. Well. And brought to you by our favourite client, CB. We have one slightly unripe banana. Standard size. Standard size. One unopened can of Serena tuna. Do you want Let's go. No tampering. Not a sealed can. One lolly snake. I believe Alan's 
I would call that red. Standard issue. Standard, standard <laughs> issue red snake. <laughs> Calvin, would you like to do the honours of the first spin of the wheel? Do you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? Mate, fucking really up here. Alright, here we go, the bloody tuna. The tuna. We're going to start with the tuna, everyone. This is All also right. just standard water. Standard water straight from the tap, unfiltered. No tricks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the can of tuna. Do you believe, as my guest, I'm gonna let you guess first. Will this sink or swim in this float? I think. <laughs> I think it will. Uh, it's gonna sink. It's gonna sink. It's gonna sink. It's gonna sink. I'm going my instincts. It's Are you sink. sure? You can yeah. change. You no, can... no, no. Sink, sink. Come on, saying sink. I'll say float. Do you want to do the others? Which way? Do we have a up to you. standard tin floating practice? Oh, that's, I mean, that's pretty resoundingly sink, I think. It's a resounding sink. I mean... Ooh, here we go. Banana. 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 We've got the banana, everyone. So we've taken this around the office a little bit, and it's truly one of the only items I've ever heard that's a 50-50 split. Mm. Would you say the same? Yeah, 100%. It was a statistical anomaly. It was a statistical anomaly. It really was. 50-50 it was. Camera, camera folks, what do you guys reckon? Sink? Are you saying and, sink? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> what does that mean? Everyone! One, that was one, not two. rigged. Uh, <laughs> I, believe, I believe this is going to float. Well, I mean, I've got to say it's going to sink. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Alright, you ready? Give it about 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I what? said But maybe, maybe, no. give it some time. Nah, that's a that's a that's a swimmer. That's a swimmer. That's, that's a one each. One each, baby. Uh, Woohoo! Right, Standard issue: snake. One, two, three. Float. Sink. I mean, this and is, it's just this like is that. Just gold. And it's just like that. This is your best one. For the win. Is a resounding sink. Sheeps, mate. I believe I'm the winner. But thank I you so much for coming one. in. Well, it floats! <laughs> yeah. Hello, and welcome to Weird Stuff at People's Desks. Let's go for a walk, shall we? <laughs> now, we're going to Carrie's desk. She's part of the 7 uh, Eleven team. And she um, is going to show me if she's got any weird things. She says she doesn't, but you can never know till you know. First thing I've noticed is on her monitor, it says B-E-T-C-H, which I think is a play on the common word. Bitch? But I can't be too sure because it says bitch. It's bitch. A La Bohème, I believe it's pronounced. Cuvée Blanc, Yarra Valley. That's a good drop I've heard. Yeah, the office has grown here in size over the last few months. It just really expanded the amount of things we can look at. First thing I've noticed, I noticed. It seems to be a shoe, but actually, you hold your beverage in it. So that's a cool little double thing there. Uh, now we've got a bobblehead who, I believe, the popular um, host of uh, the Bachelor and Bachelorette series, Osha, Osha Gunsberg. That's quite fun. <laughs> Um, other than that, quite a clean desk. Uh, a few papers, invoicing, I believe. Oh, that time of the month again. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. Thanks, guys. What are these? This is a Sailor Moon thing. Ah, oh, Sailor Moon. Popular culture reference, I believe, I from the 90s it. era. All right. All right, cool. Thanks for... Thanks for being Bye. on um, Weird Stuff at People's Desks with Just, James Rowland. Just doesn't see the light of day. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, no. Go on. Thank you.